Why is talking to strangers so important then, Johnny? Well, it puts us outside of our comfort zone. We've talked about this a million times. Everything that you want in life is outside of that comfort little bubbly circle you made for yourself, and you have to, you have to extend through that. I love this article so much because we see it week in and week out in our boot camp on Thursday. We're sitting there in review, and we're asking for thoughts and feelings on the night, and the guys are beaming. They have massive smiles, and I ask them, is this a normal night out for you? The number of people you talked to last night, is that a normal night out for you or is that a little bit more? And exceedingly, the room says, far more, AJ. Yeah. Scientifically, we've been seeing this exact impact. Talking to strangers makes you feel better. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel connected. And all of a sudden, those things start working to your advantage and you're going to feel more excited to go out the next day. Mm -hmm. So in this article, there's a study one group of train commuters was asked to talk to a stranger who sat down next to them on the train that morning. Other people were told to follow standard commuter norms, mean keeping to themselves, right? Yep. Maybe it's phone, whatever, read a book. By the end of the train ride, commuters who talked to a stranger reported having more positive experiences than those who sat in solitude. Those who sat in solitude most likely what? Picked up their phone. Oh, of of or course. if they were reading a book, they weren't reading a piece of crap book. They're reading their favorite book, a book mm -hmm. that they picked. So for those commuters to be riding the train who have talked to other people to experience more positive experiences than the people holding their cell phones or holding books oh, yeah. in solitude speaks to the remarkable nature of having the ability to walk up and strike up a conversation, mm -hmm. pushing through that initial anxiety so that you can actually start connecting. So the people who were engaged in the book, and, and, and I would think more so with the technology, with their phone or iPad, whatever their travel companion technology is. <clears throat> you know, I know, for instance, if I was going to, into rehearsal or well, even when I come in here to do the podcast, I have to put my, my technology down because if I get sucked into it, I can't fully, it takes me a bit to fully snap out of the, the the technology that I've been looking at and it takes a bit and I know this but yet it's still so addictive it drags me in that I have to get a quick look before we start just to see if someone liked my picture of puppers that I put up today <laughs> that one did get a number of, of likes <laughs> puppers is very happy I think he liked yeah, it as well makes me feel good but it's certainly not going to allow me to feel as good as talking to a stranger or meeting somebody new and that effect we see on Thursdays, and it, it really is remarkable because you start to realize just how light on your feet you can feel from having a few conversations. And we're going to talk a little bit later about how exactly to do that. It's not as difficult as you think. In fact, the TEDx speaker later is going to tell you that it's far simpler yeah. than you can imagine. And I, I know, again, going back to what we talked about earlier, as humans, we love to overcomplicate things. Absolutely. But you cannot argue with the power of talking to strangers, oh. especially when we're talking about a day and age where technology is making us depressed. The ability to perk each other up. Not only are you feeling better, the strangers feeling better. And we talk about this and giving value, just how giving some attention, giving some appreciation, giving some approval and acceptance to that other person can go a long way towards making them feel good. It lifts them up and... <clears throat> And it's something that only other people can can do. And, oh, what's the side effect? You feel happy too? Yeah. Sign me up. That sounds like a great thing to do.